Hey y'all, I was going to wait till tomorrow on this and I just felt like I shouldn't. I just felt like I shouldn't. We are starting a prayer time together. And what I'd like you to do on this channel is, first of all, this will be our first prayer day. And I'm going to go ahead and pray because I already know one thing that I'm going to be praying for and a person that I'm praying for right here on YouTube. But also, I don't want this to be relegated to just... Um, to just those that are watching. If you want to pray for someone who's not watching right now, that's fine. Let's do that. So um, you can give names or some kind of descriptor, but we do need to know who we're praying for. So we will start looking on this video, those of you who are watching, then we'll look down in the comments and look at people's prayer requests. And then tomorrow, we're going to pray those prayer requests. Okay, and um, this may be up a day later each time. It depends on how fast it will upload, okay? But we're still going to daily pray, and we're going to put the comments below. So I'm going to start off with today's prayers, and I'm going to put one out there. Oh, by the way, I encourage y'all to get some sort of a prayer journal. Like, put this on hold and start tomorrow. Go to the bookstore or order online or just get a notebook out and just mark prayer journal and put some stickers and have some fun with it all over it and get yourself a prayer journal um i'm purposely not going to write in this because this is so beautiful i love it i really do i really do you know what i may just order an extra one of these but i feel like this will be a really beautiful giveaway and we're fixing to do a bunch of giveaways too so uh with bibles prayer journals, uh, devotionals, and of course, I always have to throw in a little makeup palette. So, <laughs> that's just something I love to do. Or some other little treat, candles, or I don't know, a wristlet, I don't know. Uh, but we're going to have a good time in our prayer time. And uh, they don't all have to be tragic. They can be prayer requests or praises from previous prayer requests or just things that are going on in your life and you just want to offer up glory and praise to God right here on YouTube. I suggest we do it. Also, I suggest highly that you forward this to someone who maybe doesn't even know Jesus yet, or you think they need prayers, or whatever you want to do. Ask them to subscribe. Um, and that's, you know, I don't get any money, y'all. I don't know if y'all know this, but just, I don't know why. I, maybe it's because I felt so relegated to what was required, um, and I didn't want any restriction on this video, these videos. I stopped monetizing on both channels, so I'm not doing this for money. I would like to grow my subscription just to grow the base of the community that we we share. I would love that. Um, so anyway, but the bottom line is, let's use this as a prayer chain, okay? So my first prayer would be, um, I'm going to share with you, because I don't want you to ever think I'm anything but a regular person on the other end of this video screen. And so I need prayers too. And I bet those of you who know me know that my husband Lance had cancer treatment and he has finished it for prostate cancer. He's already been through radiation and hormone therapy. And in um, the beginning of November, we go back for his first PSA test to see how's he doing. So I would pray that I would have, um, that Lance would have a complete healing from cancer and the side effects and that his PSA would reflect that and so would his health, and um, that those side effects all would leave in Jesus' name. So for Lance, um, specific, and we're going to pray specific things, and I'll tell you why. Because then when those answers come through, and I hope y'all will start putting them in the comments, Beth, we prayed on this date about this, and as of today, the Lord has done this. And we're going to date them, and we're going to be specific. So my specific um, it for today is um, the healing of both the cancer completely and the and the PSA to reflect it and all side effects gone and people like Beth do you think that can happen I know it can happen okay I'm also gonna pray for someone on this channel she has um, mentioned this in one of the videos and I just saw it I can't find it now but I know Marsha your husband passed away and I am so sorry and I'm trying to find uh, the video where you said that. 
uh, y'all, her name is Marcia, and her husband has been ill, and he has passed away, and she's devastated. Do you know what it feels like to lose a husband or a loved one, a child, or someone very, very close to you, that it takes a piece of you? And that's what she's suffering through right now. I feel like I'm going to cry. And you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we will pray and cry. I don't know. We are going to pray. Uh, so for Marsha, for her husband uh, passing and her grief. And maybe the effects on those around. And maybe she can write back below and, and talk to us about that, if, Marcia, if you feel comfortable. I'm also going to pray for a gal named Pammy. Well, her name's Pam. I call her Pammy because we've become great friends, and I'm just praying for you. Uh, even though you haven't given me a specific lately, um, but I am, well, you kind of have. But you haven't released me to talk about it, so you'll have to comment below. But um, for um, COVID-19 and how it is affecting um, I don't want to lose anything you haven't specifically said below that it's okay. Uh, so what I'll say is COVID-19, well, how about COVID-19 for everyone, but we're going to be specific as well um, on how it's affecting kids and school. Okay, that's that's how we're going to word that. And Pammy, if you want to, feel free to um, go into more explanation below. Okay, so that's just three I know. Um, there's others of you about know what your specific prayer requests would be if you want to list them below. but for and, and we'll pray on those tomorrow. But for today, we have three things. And let's go to prayer right now. Also be writing those things in your prayer journal and date them for today. And today's date is 9-4, okay? God, we come to you because we can. Because we have the powerful name of Jesus who is our Savior. And he is a direct access behind the torn curtain that we can come to your throne room. And make requests on your behalf uh, because he is making them on our behalf but we um we can make requests that would be in line with what you want and um, for I'm um, I would like to keep these all in one video Lord so I'm gonna just pray them kind of quickly and we also know that before we ask your scripture tells us that you have the answer before we ever ask and we trust you no matter what the answer is but these are the things we'd like to lay before you because you said we could and that is i'm asking for lance that you would specifically heal him of cancer completely not just remission completely healed and that the psa would reflect that in all other tests and that he also would be relieved of all side effects lord god and we praise your name lord from marcia who has lost her husband, and she, you know her heart's broken, God, and you are a broken-hearted God. You know what that feels like to have loss. And Lord God, I ask you to comfort her and give her a peace that passes all understanding and that she will be a light to others, that she can have joy in spite of this heartache because the joy of the Lord is her strength. And Lord God, I ask you for anyone around her in her life to come to her aid and give her warmth and comfort and hugs and Lord God, that anybody else who is suffering from this in her family, that you will comfort them as well. And most of all, she would draw near, and we already know that you have drawn near to her. And Lord, for Pam, um, I just pray that the effects of COVID-19 on school kids and the school system, um, she knows too well. And so I just pray against COVID-19 in Jesus' name, and that um, she would be uh, very clear how to do everything that she needs to do. Um, and that um, there would be a sense of peace instead of chaos around this terrible virus and any other mutations of it. And Lord, for anybody who's listening, um, I know many names on here, but let's, let's just have them reach out and pray. And Lord, I ask you to bless this prayer time, bless this prayer channel, and that we will have times where we can make specific requests to you and write them down and watch you come to our aid. Lord, we do have great expectations of you because you're the only God there is and you are merciful. We thank you for your grace. We thank you most of all for your grace of Jesus Christ to save us from our sins and open up that channel to you that we can come boldly to your throne because of him, that he has opened it up. We no longer need a priest. We no longer need a pastor. Those are great teachers and um, they're very useful in, in your work. But, Lord, we can come directly to you, us, you, me, you, God. And I thank you so much, Jesus, for that. 
And Holy Spirit, please guide us in the in the coming days and show us when you are ever working. And we just thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, y'all, that'll be our first prayer together. That's our first prayer specifics, and I'm putting them in my prayer notebook uh, to see how God moves so that as he moves, we see it, we acknowledge it, we, sh we share it with each other, because that builds faith, y'all. It just does. Uh, I'll tell you something, though. If you don't feel like God comes through or something, or sometimes God's quiet on a subject or, or for, a, for a season or something like that, um, that doesn't hurt our faith. Uh, but it does help our faith when we see God work and go, oh, and then we are m more likely to trust. That's As we grow in Him, uh, we see Him move more and more and more because we are getting closer and closer and we'll see Him moving because He's moving because we're putting Him first. And uh, He may not always answer the prayers exactly like we want, uh, but we can trust Him with the answers. And um, I'm just very excited about our time together and I uh, hope that this is blessing you like it's blessing me. And today I would, um, again, I'd like to start with a scripture uh, that you go ahead and you put in um, your prayer journal for today. And um, I had put it on the video right before this, but this is the one that we're going to use as we start into this series. Um, actually, no, no. We're going to use the scripture Colossians 4 2, which says, Devote yourselves to prayer. That's going to be our scripture for this this whole series devote yourselves to prayer and then we're also going to have a new a new scripture every single day about prayer because there's so many of them and god will always come through colossians 4 2 write that down write it out and i will talk to y'all again soon bye